Okay, hello, this is Gran Turismo 3, which I've been playing for a while. This is just a um, sort of a sample preview. I think the graphics are really good. These camera angles are cool, but you don't really get control of them during replays or during the game. That's a weakness, I think. You only have two views you can toggle between, right behind the, like inside the car or just a bit behind the car. I think, um, oh, here, I, so I have a bit of control here. I can look in the car. Oh, I, I have a bit of control, I'm pressing the button, okay, for this replay, I don't think it works for the others, alright, anyway, so I want to show some of the advantages and disadvantages, I haven't played much arcade mode, it's in German, that's why it says Arcada Modus, something like that, this part's okay, Einzelrennen, that's the single player, time trial or whatever, test drive, um, I feel like it could have more tracks, I think the tracks are really awesome, but just the more the better. And the same with the cars. I think it has less cars in Gran Turismo 2, which I thought was a really good game. Okay, where do we start? Let's look at some of the races. The biggest flaw by far, I think, is um, most of these races don't have any or many limits, especially not on horsepower. So, for example, this is a British GT car cup, right? You can use any car, any car, any power. So I can use my Formula 1 race car and just enter these races. You compete against British cars. Are these in British location? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing Rome Circuit's not in England or Brit Great Britain. These are kind of cool, FFFRMR, but again, they don't have horsepower limits. I think this is a major flaw. You need to have like, because this is in the professional league, amateur league, you've got the same races. The com competition is a bit um, lower. And the races are shorter, but there's no limit on what car you can use, as long as it's of that type. Here's a Deutsche Tourenwagen Challenge. It's a German, but you can use any car. I don't even know if these places are in Germany. Laguna Seek is in America, I think. I'm guessing the Tokyo thing is in Japan. That would be my guess. So, other than the other cars being from that country, I don't see what the point of this is. It's a bit annoying. There's too many... I like the championships, but they're all too similar to each other as well. Japanese, American, European, Gran Turismo World Championship. Here there's a Green Car Championship. They're all quite similar. And you do a lot of the same tracks. One thing that really is annoying is this one, the test course. Test striker. Which is just like a straight line. You go around for ages. It's... It's not very exciting. I kind of like these to some degree, like Alteza, you have to have some kind of Alteza. Let's see, we'll have a look. So those are your options. But of course, I always end up, I just, if I get the race car, that's what I got eventually. I won it, and then I used it, and it was just pretty easy. Um, and I think it should be designed into the game that it's a challenge, not... Because otherwise, I mean, you can make it a challenge for yourself, but I don't tend to do that. That's not... I think the game should make it challenging inherently. Here's another championship, another championship, they're all kind of similar. Another thing that's annoying, in terms of those specific challenges, here, this is the professional league, and you've got a Yaris championship, a Toyota Yaris. I don't mind if I have that car, but why do we have to do this big thing, especially this course again, which is just a straight line for ages. These are like 10 lap races in these puny little cars. Yeah, even though some, like this one, you can't have a tuned car. Nur für nicht getunter Wagen. So they, but it's still relatively easy. There's still no, so that's the biggest thing. There should be horsepower limits, um, building up things. These ones are too long, I find. These races are like 20 or 30 laps. They're actually pretty fun. I don't completely hate it, but again, we've got this course again, which isn't fun at all. There are other tracks. I just wish they would make more tracks. I mean, I know they can't fit everything, but this one is just on that course. I don't mind, this should be the only thing on that course. I think that should be it. Just a speed, pure speed, and that's all that matters. I like the rally races quite a lot, overall. There's three for each, but they're actually all the same. So, for example, Tahiti Maze Rückfahrt, Rückfahrt, backwards, is, it's the same race against usually the same competitor, but this might be a two lap race, a three lap race, and a five lap, or something like that. I don't see the point. They're not, it should be, you know, easy, medium, hard. Actually make it get harder. Uh, another thing is prize cars. Uh, once you complete, say, these three, you get a prize car. That's cool. But I think prize cars should be unique. 
I like the idea that the, the car you win from this is different from any other car you win anywhere else. That way, there's a real reward to doing it. You get that car that, you know, you get the um, Subaru Impreza, uh, whatever, prototype rally car that you can't get anywhere else. These endurance, endurance races are cool, but the problem is, um, I don't mind if they're long, I think that's a bit of variety, there's only 10 of them and they're not too long, but again, most of them don't really have limits on what car you use, so just you get a really fast racing car and just drive and dominate. That's how I do it, uh, if they made a horsepower limit it would be more fun, and that would give more meaning to if you want a certain car, that it would be really useful. But at the end you get a choice, there'll be four cars that you get to choose from, uh, no you don't get to choose, it randomly gives you one of four cars. And I think, um, so you might be really lucky and get a really good one, or be unlucky and get a really crappy one. I don't think that's a good design. I prefer the, everything that you win is unique. They have to be horsepower limits, so the game progressively gets harder over time. And more unique uh, challenges. Let me look at some of the cars. Like, I'm currently in a racing car. It's insane. It's very cool, but that's the thing. It's allowed to enter most races, so it kind of just ruins the game in a way, once you get it, which is tricky to get. This one's very cool, but it's kind of redundant when you've got a better car. This one's cool. I didn't tune it up. I used it for the, the races where you aren't allowed to tune up, and it, it dominates. It's really, really good. Anyway, let's see. I don't really like... I, I don't mind a little bit of small cars like for example that where is it like these kinds of cars they're tiny but I don't completely see the point in a racing game um, there's not that many of them I feel like there's too many for example I've got a lot of Lancer Evolution uh, somewhere here's another one <laughs> a rally car from whatever GSR it's a bit annoying like if I want to see how much it weighs I have to go here Barton Fartzoig Gesicht um, let's see, it's 1,350 kilograms and all this other data. It's alright, I just think the design, for example, in this list, I can't sort it, I don't think. I can change the data on the right, I can see how long I've driven with them. So you can see which, this one's the, like the fastest car by far, uh, but it doesn't turn that well. Its handling's not very good, it's insane. Um, yeah, so you can see which ones I've used, this one's a really good car. This is probably a good car, but see, I want it somewhere. I just wanted to comment, right? There's also these license tests. Like, for example, I forget which one. Maybe this one. If I get all of these gold, I win that Mazda RX-8. But I've already got it, so I don't see the point. Also, a flaw with these, uh, say, for example, this one. See, it's a 26 second is the, what you're aiming for. But look at the red line, right? It's mostly straight, and then there's a turn at the end. That's what you have to do. So every time you do it, the first 20 seconds or so is spent driving in a straight line. And then if you fail, you have to do it again. That first 20 seconds you keep doing. So I find that annoying. Uh, even this one, you're going to spend about 15, 20 seconds driving in a straight line. And then that turn is the critical part. I want to just be able to keep repeating it and go from the tricky part. Even this one, even though it's only 14 seconds, you have to do that first 10 seconds driving a straight line. I don't like the design of it. Let's see, some of these I haven't done yet. These are full laps, so they're pretty tricky. Um, but there's not much reason for me to bother trying to get gold, because the reward just isn't worth it, I don't think. I know I can do it, but I, I don't see the point. I got all golds in the rally, that's how I got the first car in the game. But anyway, uh, actually I feel like with the auto handler, there could still be more cars. I like the cars that, well, we'll see. There is quite a bit, but like in Australia, there's only one place, and it's only got one car. It might be a pretty cool car. And only one colour. You can look at the data. Um, it doesn't tell you if it can tune up or how much it can tune up, which could affect your decision. This has only got one car. It might be a pretty cool car, but I just feel like it's a little bit silly having a bunch of places where there's only one thing. That's only got one car only got two cars, I don't know, I'm not, it's a good game, the graphics are also, the races are fun, the status, so I'm getting there, there's not that much left that I haven't done, most of the races I lost, I just quit because I realised my car wasn't good enough, and I didn't really have a chance, 
There are a lot of cars that are similar, like uh, this one, which are cool cars, but they're all kind of similar to each other in power and handling, I think. Um, this one's pretty cool, but a bit overpowered. It turns too easily, and I haven't even used it, as you can see, zero kilometers. Where's the main one I've used? Polyphony, this one. Yeah, quite a lot. You can see what type of drive it has. But even, like, see, this is MR. I can use it for all the MR races, even the beginner ones. It's silly. The type of, uh, I don't know what that's called, engine type. The power. You can see this one's very powerful. How much I can sell it for. But yeah, again, the, the win, what you win should be unique. Like, I would really like if, from these license things, like, say, the special one, if I won a unique car that was at a certain horsepower lim amount that was just really useful for some of the races here because then I'd be motivated to get it but as it is I've got you only need about uh, three or four cars to do most of these others you can just buy a specific car like a motorsport Elise for example for this there's only two types of car I found the Elise 190 can't win it's uh, at least I couldn't win with it so you have to buy a motorsport at least so it seems a bit silly I hate the Zonda it's a terrible car there's only a few of them but they they handle so terribly even if they've got reasonable power all right so yeah I don't know I think it's a really fun awesome fun game but just has some flaws uh, a bit too repetitive as well like I said before these championships uh, let's see, like this one, it's the same as the one in the beginner and the medium. You can use the same cars. It's the same, similar kind of tracks. They're fun tracks, they're fun races, but it just gets repetitive. So anyway, I think one of the best things with games is having a hierarchy, like easier, medium, hard. So that's why the horsepower limit is good. But also with money, if you can see, I've got like 9 million credits or whatever. I don't know why they can't say dollars. It must be some thing with games. You can't say dollars. It has to be credits or tokens or some some kind of fictional currency it's funny uh, but a game should have the total amount of money you can earn should roughly match the total amount you could spend i guess i mean i guess there are cars i could buy that i don't have but there's not much motivation to i don't need them so i don't know like after i don't think i've got this car i could get it if i wanted to but i don't see much point i think there's actually a limit you can't own more than 200 cars Unless there was a reason to actually get, for example, this car. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd just add that. The money, in fact, some of the races, some of the top races don't pay much. It doesn't make sense. Like, I've been doing this professional league, the uh, final challenge, these ones, and they only pay $30,000 each, and or 30,000 credits. And it's like 30 laps or 50 laps, 20-something laps. It's um, compared to the others, which pay similar amounts, but they're only 10 laps. So anyway, all right, bye for real.